What's up NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another family reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out some more stuff in our military series that we've been doing. But we thought that we'd take a look at some of your unique uh, military vehicles or machines that you guys have over there because, I mean, as far as our military or Air Force goes, it's basically just a few transport planes and some helicopters and, and stuff like that. So there's not many, uh, there's not many things that we have here um, that are ready for like all out battle, like, like this sort of stuff. So we're, the first one that we've been told to check out is the A-10 Warthog. So, and this video is called Why No One Wants to Fight the A-10 Warthog. So that sounds pretty, pretty scary. It does. Pretty daunting. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's check it out. Oh, wow, big engines on the back. Five reasons why no nation on earth wants to fight the A 10 Warthog in a war. Wow. Was that? That sounded like a laser. <laughs> Was that the gun? Oh, the teeth on the front. <laughs> One simply does not mess with the A-10 Thunderbolt and get away with it. Call her the A-10 Thunderbolt, or more affectionately, A-10 Warthog, but the U.S. Air Force Close Air Support Avenger will take a beating and still find a way to shower you with her low-altitude armor-piercing ammo. Whoa. Wow. The A-10 is one of the most revered pieces of equipment that our fighting men and women have at their disposal, and its track record proves it. The 30 millimeter GAU 8A cannon that sits on the front of the A-10 it's like a with its barrel protruding from the nose is one of the heaviest automatic cannons ever mounted on an aircraft. Since the Whoa. pilots are protected by titanium armor, which also protects parts of the flight control system, the A-10 can linger longer in the battle zone in all kinds of conditions, including low visibility and darkness. <laughs> The A-10 Thunderbolt has earned its reputation thanks to the bravery of her pilots and her performance above the battlefield. We're proud to give a little respect back to those who've served our great country and share a few of the reasons why the A-10 Warthog is an aircraft that should never be taken lightly. It's very, um, nimble. Yeah. Maneuverable. What? Armament. The guns. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Here's the total count. A 30 millimeter GAU 8A cannon, up to 16,000 pounds of mixed ordnance on eight underwing and three under fuselage oh, pylon stations, a 500 pound MK82 and 2,000 pound MK84 series low high drag bombs, incendiary cluster bombs, oh, that's a big one. effects munitions, mine dispensing munitions, an AGM 65 Maverick and AIM 9 Sidewinder missiles, plus a Gatling gun that's specifically designed to fire high explosive incendiary and armor piercing depleted uranium rounds at a rate of 3,900 rounds. Depleted uranium. Minute. That's a serious aircraft with a bad wow. attitude. And you want to shoot at this bad beast? Good luck with that. Whoa. Wow. Oh, that slowed down. Far out. It's just destruction. I was going to say, if somebody Survival. was driving that, like, <laughs> wow, if that was like a test. <laughs> yeah. I, the A-10 I has that. a honeycomb panel design that makes up the leading edges of the wing and tail, making them more resistant to battle damage. Interestingly, the front landing gear retracts under the wings while still sticking somewhat out of the fuselage, giving the Warthog a way to touch down with its landing gear up. This aircraft can survive multiple direct hits from armor-piercing and high-explosive projectiles, while its self-sealing fuel cells are protected by internal and external foam. Like in 2003, Whoa. when Captain Kim Campbell successfully brought her Warthog back from a close air support mission near Baghdad, her 75th Fighter Squadron A-10 was hit by ground fire, taking extensive damage to the starboard vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, aft fuselage, and engine. 
Upon sustaining the hit, the airplane became uncontrollable, rolling left, nose down. After trying several ways to regain control, she engaged the backup mechanical flight control system. The jet responded, and with some help from her wingman, she landed back at her forward base. Whoa. Wow. wow. That's a... Uh... That's lucky. Yeah. That's, insane. That's a tough plane. Range. Not lucky if you're in that thing. At around 2,580 yeah. miles, the Warthog's flight range could get you from New York City to Los Angeles, California. Thanks to two General Electric TF-34 GE-100 turbofan engines, oh. the aircraft can achieve about 450 miles an hour, or Mach 0.75, making the Thunderbolt fast enough to be ultra-deadly. Some big engines, eh? Mm. Four. Support. Whoa. Wow. The A-10 Warthog has immeasurable value to our U.S. troops on the ground and plays a critical role in our military strategy in the Middle East and around the world. Arizona Representative Ruben Gallego said, I'm glad we were able to keep this fleet fully operational and I will continue to fight to preserve this aircraft to ensure that the warfighter on the ground gets their air support. The A-10 was specifically designed for close air support missions. It's large and varied ordnance, so long bombs. loiter time above the battlefield, accurate weapons delivery, and Whoa. unfriendly field capability are more than well developed to be at the forefront of the ground forces around it. As the U.S. Air Force says, the low altitude safety and targeting enhancement upgrade provided computerized weapon aiming equipment, an autopilot, and a ground collision warning system, which includes multi-band communications, global positioning system, and inertial navigation systems, wow. infrared and electronic countermeasures against air-to-air -air and air-to-surface threats. In other words, try to shoot at our ground troops, and we will not only shoot back, but unleash oh. hell on you exactly where you stand. See you later. Wow. Go on. Oh, just for like what? Just for the cherry on top? <laughs> Five. Weren't they gone already? Rit. Just to make sure. A-10 pilots have night vision capability to conduct missions during any hour after dark. Wow. The A-10 was also designed with a fast maintenance turnaround time in mind to and keep it on fighters. the battlefield. Hmm. Things like damaged wing skins that can be replaced in the field, the cannon creating so much smoke while it's being fired that it looks like a forest fire, and a Gatling gun that fires rounds the size of beer bottles makes the Warthog deserve its moniker, the Cross of Death. <laughs> Certainly the most important thing to remember is the pilots who fly these winged wonders and the ground crews that maintain them. Our fighting men and women are the real heroes and the A-10 Thunderbolt is just another tool in the fight for freedom and a tool that works quite well, thank you. Contemporary Air Force F-15 and F-16 pilots like to joke that A-10s don't have instrument panel clocks, they have calendars. At the time, the Air Force's high-tech fighter faction, which included most of Air Force leadership, Considered the twin-engined, straight-wing attack airplane an anachronistic dud, unfit to operate in the modern battlefield where it was supposed to kill Russian tanks. So fly sideways, Whether you're talking right, about easily. a sophisticated Whoa. stealth Whoa. bomber or flying what machine that? gun, it's wow. never easy to bring a new warplane into being. We need to check How that the A-10 program survived its first few years is a complicated <laughs> it looks story. Looks like Mickey Mouse. Former A-10 pilot. Yeah. Yeah. big is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Retired, contends that the Thunderbolt II made it to production by prevailing in two key political battles. Between the maneuverability and the survivability, the A-10 Fleet wow. Fighter Squadron has taken on Operation Enduring Freedom, Desert Storm, and ISIS, wherever they may be, making it one of our best weapons in the fight for freedom around the globe. Those helmets look insane. They do. Probably got so much tick just inside the helmet. Yeah. Flying one. Yeah. They do remind me of a warthog, not by looks, but they're just like sturdy and bulky and but they're also quite quick. Yeah. And nimble. Wow. And they pack a punch. Oh, some next to some jets. Whoa, is he refueling? Mess that up. No. <laughs> Whoa. Just 
to cook refuel. Yeah. And we're off. That's so cool how they developed that. Yeah, it is. Letting some flares out. Oh, is that flares? I think so. I think if there's someone chasing their, their missile, she hit the flares instead. Oh, yeah. Instead of them. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's some crazy footage. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is insane. Wow. That was crazy. The sound of that gun oh, is no. like nothing else I've ever heard. That and kind like, of blew my mind. The yeah. sturdiness of the ship to be able to hold all of that bulk of the bombs and missiles and guns. Yeah. yeah. Like so. So heavy. So heavy. So that much is weight. just. One more thing could just make the ship go down because it's so heavy. Yeah. yeah. You but mean the plane, not the ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sound of that gun would almost be like if you were like American soldiers and you're on the ground and you heard that sound, you'd be like, yes, finally. Yeah. You know, the help has arrived. They're here. But if you were a baddie and you heard that one, you're I like, mean, it's Ooh. probably too late actually before like you that. even hear it. Yeah. Yeah. That sound that comes out the front of it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That was that was a pretty cool aircraft, eh? Cool. Yeah. Those two big engines just sticking out the side as well. Yeah. Massive jet engines. I wonder when it was invented, did it say? When it was made. I don't know. I don't think made. so. I didn't catch it, but yeah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. They should nickname it um, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the ears. <laughs> and it's weird that they're up the top as well, because we're used to them being underneath. Yeah, or on the, the wings. wings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Buzzy. Maybe that's why it can fly, like... So uh, well. Yeah, because yeah. it's not outside. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, make sure you smash the like button, as always. Also, let us know down in the comments what's the next uh, machine, the military machine or vehicle that we should check out, because we really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And it looks like there's heaps more as well. I mean, we saw like a really cool jet fighter and that black, that, that, black, that black triangle was. Yeah. That was insane. So we need to check like that out. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Like from another planet. And also make sure you go over and follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Go and check us out over there. Also go and check out Atlanta. She is on Instagram now, uh, Instagram now as well for Atlanta's Kitchen. Yes. So we'll put the links down below. Go and check it out. And also subscribe if you haven't already. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.